When you look at industries across the board, whether you're a professional athlete, a pilot, or you work in a nuclear power plant, a basic tenant of their pathway is rehearsal, is practice. If you look at the Boston Symphony Orchestra, a classic example of a group that plays hundreds of times more than they ever perform. Medicine was the only high-stakes industry that wasn't practicing prior to game time. Our patient today, as you guys know, is a 12-hour-old baby with a prenatal diagnosis of a left-sided congenital diaphragmatic hernia. Everyone set? Ready to go. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna pull down the curtain and end the simulation here. About 15 years ago, we brought simulators into the hospital. But what we still struggled with materials, with touch, with feel. And when you start to put those words together and you start to really think about who kind of controls that, the experts who do that are in Hollywood. Fracture effects, we're a special makeup effects house. We deal with anything from realistic medical effects to specialty props, 3D printed components, design. Peter really had a great idea. You know, he had seen some of our work. His idea was adding a bit of the Hollywood element to recreating the human body. The current simulators don't really give us any of that haptic feedback. We don't have the, the feel of the scope passing through various tissue layers. That's one thing where this, this collaboration and developing better simulators is really gonna help. The idea was to take surgical knowledge and then work with a Hollywood team to give it the, the haptic, high fidelity realism to engage surgeons. This is definitely helping surgeons become better, helping children, helping patients. That was very important to me. With this trainer in each version that we've worked on, we have modified things to make it more and more realistic. It's anatomically correct. It feels like muscle. It spreads like muscle. So that's another layer that just did not exist. Using the model today, it's just enhanced our training so much. We can inform fractured effects specifically about what the clinical needs are, the anatomic nuances, how tissue behaves. And that's where the surgeons and the clinicians at Boston Children's Hospital play a big role in this collaboration. And what fractured effects and our team can do together is translate that into special effects that matter and that are relevant and are incredibly authentic. We've had to develop quite a few different materials specifically for this to simulate haptically what it should actually feel like. Each trainer has been tested by the surgeons and we get their notes. This doesn't feel right, this feels too soft, this feels too hard. This is really a collaboration. I mean, we're going back and forth. We're both trying to help each other get better without the surgical knowledge and everything that Boston Children's Hospital brings to this collaboration. It's their eye, their input that really, really makes the difference. We're in a really amazing position right now in terms of what we can accomplish with these trainers. Phase two of this will really use Boston Children's Hospital as a test kitchen to get them in the hands of clinicians and surgeons across the world so that they can take care of patients and be able to have those same practice opportunities independent of where that care is delivered.